In this video, we're going to look at how we solve an equation. Now, when I say solve an equation, what I want to do is find the value of that letter X. So what number can I place in there that will make the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side? Now, with a little bit of thought, I can see that if I have the number 4, so 3 multiplied by 4, that's 12, add on the 2, that gives me 14. So the solution to this equation is that x must be equal to 4. Now, it's okay doing that in your head on a very simple equation like this, but we need to come up with a method, an algebraic method, for solving the equation. Now, the way I like to think of these is in terms of friendships. So if you can imagine, this letter x here has a very close friend, which is this 3. So imagine that's its best friend, and then it has another friend here, the plus 2. Now what we want to happen is we want to leave x on its own. We want to get rid of its friends. So the first friend we need to get rid of is the plus 2, and then we're going to leave the 3 because that's the best friend. We're going to leave that to the very end. Now to eliminate or get rid of the plus 2, we do the inverse operation. So the inverse, the opposite of adding 2, is to subtract 2. So I'm going to put subtract 2. Now if I do something to the left hand side, I must also do it to the right hand side. So I have to subtract 2 here as well. And that will keep the equation balanced. Now by doing that, I can see here, I've got this plus 2 and minus 2. Well, they're going to cancel. So they've gone. And if we've cancelled them or eliminated that plus 2, then the only thing left on the left hand side is the 3 x. Then we've got the equals, and then 14 subtract 2, well that is 12. Okay, so we've got rid of that plus 2, that friend. Now we need to get rid of this 3 here. Now that 3 means 3 multiplied by x, and the inverse of multiplication is division. So what I need to do here is to divide by 3, and if I do it to the left-hand side, I must do it to the right-hand side, so I have to divide by 3 here as well. Now these 3s, well again, they're going to cancel. So what I'm left with on the left-hand side is the x, and we've got the equals, and the 12 divided by 3, well 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now that's the answer we were expecting, we can always check. 3 multiplied by 4 is 12, plus the 2 is 14. We knew that. Let's have a look at a second one. So again, we've got this idea of friendships. We've got this 2, which is a very close friend to the x, and then we've got this minus 3 here. And I want to eliminate that negative 3. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to do the inverse of subtraction, which is addition. So I'm going to add 3 to the left-hand side, and therefore I must also add 3 to the right-hand side. That keeps the equation in balance. Now those plus 3 and negative 3 over here, well, they're going to cancel each other out. And what I'm left with on the left-hand side is simply 2x. And that is equal to 9 plus 3, which is 12. I now need to eliminate this 2 here, this closest friend. Now that 2x means 2 multiplied by x. And the inverse or opposite of multiplication is to divide. So I'm going to divide by 2 on the left. And remember, I must do it on the right as well. So divide by 2. I can see again that this 2 here and the divide by 2, again, they're going to cancel, which leaves me with x on the left-hand side. And 12 divided by 2, well, that is 6. Now that I've got my answer, I should check my results. So 2 times 6, well that's 12. 12 take away 3 is 9, so it works. Let's have a look at another one. Let's try 4x plus 1 is equal to 21. Okay, same thing again. I need to eliminate the plus 1. To do that, I'm going to subtract 1 and subtract 1. The 1s will cancel on the left, leaving me with 4x is equal to 21 minus 1 is 20. I now need to eliminate the 4. To do that, I'm going to divide by 4 on the left, 
divide by 4 on the right. And when I do that, the 4s will cancel, leaving me with x on the left. And 20 divided by 4, well, that is 5. Now that I've got my answer, I take my answer of x being 5, and I pop it over here. So 4 multiplied by 5 is 20, plus the 1 is equal to 21.